Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome to Mini Motorways, which is the sequel to the wonderful Mini Metro that we played what seems like an absolute age ago now, so it might look a little bit familiar, but instead of building connections between underground stations to move people around, now we're going to be building roads to move cars around. So we shall be laying out the roads in a growing city, getting people going from A to B as quickly and as efficiently as we can, but of course things will change, cities grow, cities develop, so more homes and businesses will appear around the city, and what was once a good road layout might not be so good anymore. So we might have to go back and just change things around a bit. You know, just do a little bit of amendment here and there just to try and make things slightly more effective. And then at that point, when we have to start changing things, I imagine everything will kind of, you know, implode a little bit. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We shall deal with that as it happens. I mean, we will probably deal with it quite badly, but we shall deal with it nonetheless. But yes, I'm fully expecting a certain level of late game panic and chaos. I'm absolutely prepared for that. It's on Steam right now. There is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below if you're interested and we were given a key by the devs which is very lovely so thank you devs that's very kind of you indeed but anyhow let's get on with it shall we let's go and build some roads so here we go and I can very happily confirm that spacebar is pause which is wonderful well done game good job so welcome to Beijing everybody this is Beijing and this is the current extent of the map this is all of the map that we can see right now in fact I think if I right click that's it we're dealing with everything within this grid just here we don't care about anything Anything else right now. Now of course as the game goes on and the city gets bigger and bigger and there's more houses and businesses and roads and all that kind of stuff then the map will get bigger. So we'll zoom out a bit and we'll have to deal with even more little sort of grid squares but for now this is all we need to worry about. So we have ourselves a bit of water over here, we have a river over here in the corner. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is between the ground that's this colour and the ground that's this colour. Maybe that's low ground or that's high ground or something. There's some trees over there and then we have ourselves a little red house just here and a slightly bigger red building just here. So that is a house, that's a residence and this here, this is a workplace and the people who live in the red houses do want to go to work over here in the lovely red workplaces. But you might notice a bit of a problem because of course there are no roads. There's no roads connecting this house here to the business just here. Now I'm not entirely sure how that happened. I don't really know how that was allowed to happen. I mean somebody somewhere should have noticed that really. Somebody in the council and you know maybe the road planning department should possibly have spotted the fact that there are no roads because it does cause a bit of a problem with you know going from place to place. But maybe that's why we're here. Maybe the previous person in Beijing's whatever sort of road planning logistics team was really awful and we've been brought in to sort things out so uh, so yes let's get on with it shall we so what we need to do is we need to connect up the house to the business just here that's it and what we can do is we have ourselves a set of road tiles so we've got 30 road tiles ah we also start with a bridge as well. I think that means we have a bridge. Oh, that's quite nice. Okay, so of course a bridge can go across rivers. But yeah, we've got 30 road tiles. So if we look on the grid there, the road tiles can just go between all of these different sections here. They can go at angles and all that kind of stuff. And I quite like this. I quite like this. You can just sort of draw the road tiles on. So you can say, okay, I'd like a road to look like that, please. And then if you want to, if you realize you've made a mistake, you can just go and get rid of all those things and you get them back. You don't lose any, so we're back to 30 again. So you can have a little play, you can experiment, you can give things a go, and if it doesn't work, you can just sort of undo it and try something else, which I do quite like. Because, you know, when I tend to do things, things go a little bit wrong most of the time. So it's quite nice to know that, you know, we're not going to be penalised for trying something that doesn't work, which is very nice. So let's get these connected up. So you can see here the business actually has a little kind of pin above it saying, hello, we're request uh, requesting a, a red sort of worker person, please. Can we have ourselves one of those? So let's just connect that up, shall we? Let's go like that, and there we go. And we'll unpause time, and they can drive their little car down the road. But already, another house has appeared. Fortunately, it's a red house. Now, you might be looking at that thinking, oh no, that's really inconvenient because their house is pointing that way. Somehow, by magic, I don't know, we can, we can turn the houses around. We can point the houses into different directions. So let's just turn that house down that way, and there we go. They can share that road that didn't use up any of our road connections and that seems perfectly logical to me. And there we go. That person there in their red car went down here to work in the red building and that's one completed trip. So we get a score of one, a grand total of one. But now you're going to come down here. Red person has arrived at the red workplace and there we go. That's completed that job. We now have two score, which is wonderful. And that's kind of how it goes. Now that actually was a very fortunate start to be fair because, you know, sometimes you might have had your building over here and your house over here. So you had to have a very long road, whereas they were kind of you know, pointing right at each other, which was pretty perfect. But at some point, other things are going to appear. 
we might have other red kind of buildings, we might have different colour buildings appear, there's blues and yellows and greens and other things, so we shall have to wait and see. So let's just move time on a little bit, shall we, until something else appears. But right now, things are going quite nicely. Got one simple road network in and it's all very good. But yeah, there we go. I was going to say, this is going to kick in at some point. Okay, so that building there, hang on, pause time for a second. That building is requesting workers. Now, the only thing is, we could just turn them round. We could go, yep, there you go. Go and connect to that road. You can all go and work down there. But of course, this building here is not getting any workers going to it. And I think... I think what happens is, I think if six pins appear, so six sort of requests for employees appear in a work building, then a timer appears and you have to kind of get people in. And if the timer sort of, you know, if you run out of time on the timer, then that's it. The game is over and you're all done. So we do need to get some people over here. Now, the only thing is, do we just bring, I think maybe we'll just bring, I didn't want it to do that. No, undo that, undo the road. We'll bring that down like that. And then we'll just bring it along like that. So it's a bit of a longer road. But I think it should work. And we still do have 11 road sections left. I mean, I guess we could. We could have built a bridge, really. We could have got ourselves a bridge. Right, another red house has appeared just there. Okay, ah, we can't put them at that angle. Let's turn them round like that. And for now, let's bring... Oh, my... Right, hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on a minute. Right, hang on. Wait there. Connect to that. Connect to that. Connect to that. And connect over into there. Right. Okay, so a little sort of... A little neighbourhood of red housing over there. But there we go, look. So they've had one person turn up at that place of work. A request has gone out for another person. But this is all fine. I mean, it's a little bit further away. But then when we get to the end of the week, we get to choose a set of bonuses. So we get uh, sort of more tiles. And then we get a special tile. So we get more road tiles. And then we can pick things like motorways or bridges or roundabouts and that kind of stuff. There we go. Exactly like this. So what upgrade do we want? We can have a roundabout and 20 road tiles, or we can have a bridge and 20 road tiles. Now, I think we have a bridge. I think that means we already have a bridge. So a roundabout probably sounds like quite a good thing. So let us have a roundabout, and we'll have that in reserve for now, because I don't think we need one at the moment. I mean, maybe that junction is a little bit busy. Maybe that junction is a bit busy. What we could do is, could we have those there kind of coming round this way? Now we have ourselves... 27 road sections could we have them going across like that and then just coming down like that that might make life a bit easier and make this slightly less complicated so if we just did that and turned them that way then you know everyone can get to anywhere they can get to either that building or that building but it just sort of reduces the congestion over there a little bit i think that might be a good idea because yeah they can still drive out they can still reach places ah okay now we start getting into complicated stuff because as you can see, this is blue and that house is blue. So they want to go and work at the blue place. So of course now we're going to have different coloured vehicles sharing the roads and it's going to cause congestion and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, okay, so let's turn that building round like that. And then, do you know what actually? Let's put it going down at that angle and we'll just bring that right across like that. And then do we want to put the roundabout just there? Do you want to put the roundabout there? Do you know what? I don't think we do right now. Let's not put the roundabout there right now. Let's leave the roundabout for a while. And then we can sort of assess later on if anything looks really horribly busy. Um, okay, another blue place has appeared. Let's bring that down like that. There we go. That'll do. Hang on a minute. Hang on. That looks like it's woefully inefficient. There we go. That's a bit better. Okay. So now I imagine we're going to have a little sort of a little pocket of blue housing up there. That's fine. That is requesting more red more red sort of uh, drivers over there, some more red workers, please. I mean, they're not leaving their houses. I'm not entirely sure why, because they're entirely capable of getting to that place there. I don't quite know why they're not leaving. Is something wrong with that particular road setup? I don't think it is. It looks fine to me. Um, okay, right, there we go. I don't quite know why they're not... Is there a problem up here? Hang on. Do we need to just reconnect things? Does that help? Does that help at all? Okay, let's repoint those homes as well, because they should... They should be leaving their house. Like they're leaving all the time. They're very busy. And we've got quite a few calls going into that place. And now we have yellow as well. Okay, so red, blue and yellow have come in. I quite like the fact that the two, the two sort of new businesses have attached themselves to roads already. That's quite handy. That saves us using our road sections. Um, okay, so how about then? If we tilt that like that, right, and then we will make that a roundabout. A roundabout can't be placed there. 
We're not going to make that a roundabout, everybody. Let's not have that as a roundabout. That would be a silly idea. Um, okay, never mind. Yeah, they're not leaving. They're not leaving up there. I don't quite know why. Hang on. They're within range of everything, aren't they? That is very odd. I don't quite know why they're not taking part in this. Um, okay, let's change things around then. So they can't do that. So how about you face that way and you go into there? Does that help? Are they going to leave their house at all? No. These people are just staying at home all the time. <laughs> I mean, there's plenty of calls for, for red workers. Do you want to go and do that job? No. You're just not interested and you don't care. Oh, no, they have. There you go. They've left. Okay, maybe it's just that that's too long a route or something. Okay, well, do you know what? We'll spin you back around that way and we shall save all of those road sections. We're now back up to 20 road sections and we've cleared that bit out. I thought it might reduce congestion, but no, nobody liked it. Nobody cared. Um, right, okay, so how are we looking? Everything's fine. All the buildings are connected. No place is looking like it's going to implode. That place is looking a little bit busy. And this junction here is terrible. That junction there is awful. Okay, what we need to do is we need to move that round a bit. Let's put that like that. In fact, no, hang on a minute. No, get rid of that. Just put it going straight up like that. That looks a little bit better, doesn't it? Looks a little bit more organised. We'll get rid of that bit as well. There we go. Back up to 20 road sections again, which is very good. Okay, move time on nice and fast. Let's see what we can do. Okay, end of week two. Bridge or a roundabout. Um, another another roundabout. Why not? And let's put... Can we actually put the roundabout in just there then? There we go. So that might make that a little bit more efficient. That might make that whole road bit a bit sort of better. Okay. Can you connect straight to the roundabout? Drive out of your house and onto a roundabout. Okay, I'm sure that's fine. Right, so the red section is looking good. I'm expecting more houses to appear over here in sort of yellow housing area and blue housing area. But 48, 50 trips completed. It's looking pretty good. Things are looking good right now. Let's enjoy this though. Let's enjoy this moment of, of you know, relative calm, I would say, because at some point, in probably the quite near future, everything is just going to go all sorts of crazy. There's going to be all sorts of things happening. And there's going to be you know, roads and motorways and pileups and traffic. And these things are going to be sort of ticking down on counters. And it's all going to go all over the place. It's going to be all wrong. There's going to be panic and chaos and carnage. So let's just enjoy this now whilst it lasts, shall we? Because it is quite nice and it's all sort of you know, relatively peaceful. Okay, so we have a blue building and a blue house has appeared. Okay, so blue house... Can you connect into... In fact, hang on. Oh, that's all sorts of terrible. Connect down like that. There you go. That makes sense. And then we'll just have a bit that goes across like that. There we go. So the blue people can drive along here and go to there. Can we put, for now, our other roundabout just there? Because that's going to be... No, it's not going to be that busy. That's actually not going to be that busy. I thought that might be quite busy, but no, it's just yellows and blues. And I think they'll muddle through. Yeah, they're fine. I don't know if the blues are coming down here as well. Um, do you know what? Can we put it there? Yes, we can. So hopefully this is going to make life a bit easier for everyone. I think everyone just sort of circumnavigated the roundabout. They just ignored it. Went, no, actually, I'm ignoring the roundabout completely. Away with you, roundabout. Okay, that's looking pretty busy. The blues up there are looking busy. And just as it starts looking busy with the blues over there, we get green. Of course we do. Okay, right. Hang on a second. Green that way. In fact, no, tilt the green. No, 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 not that. Tilt that that way. Tilt that that way. Right, they're going to have to join this road network here, aren't they? They're going to, in fact, can they just go straight in like that? Is that going to cause a problem? That might cause a problem. Let's have them going in like that. And they're connected to green just there. Okay, let's go for that. Right, bridge or roundabout again. I mean, it keeps giving us bridges. But we already have a bridge piece in reserve. So let's get another roundabout and another 20 things. Oh, my word. Um, can we do something about uh, about bridges and congestion? I mean, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad right now. That, that roundabout there seems to be working quite well. That seems to be pretty effective. So that's good. I think all the houses... Ah, no, there's a blue house up there that's not connected. Hang on a second. Hang on. Um, yeah, bring that into there like that. Splendid. Yellow house, just turn that that way round. I like the fact that they kind of do, you know, the houses do appear in sort of, you know, little neighbourhoods. So you've got, you know, the red house neighbourhood and the blue house neighbourhood and so on. I quite like that. That makes sort of logical sense. 
Okay, so has anything else appeared? No. And we're on 106. I'm quite happy with that. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. We've got this far and it's not all gone horribly, horribly wrong. Um, I mean, that's looking a bit busy. The blues over there are looking busy. Oh, that's gone round. What does that mean? Does that mean it's requesting more people, possibly? Okay, how about then this place here can have several different routes. So let's bring that down like that. So they could drive down there if they wanted to. And we'll add an extra road bit in so they can go onto that ramp. How about we do that? Yeah, like that. That's, that's terrible. That bit of road there is lethal. But they can just go right down there if they want to. Go down there, along the roundabout, and round that way. And that's all fine. In fact, do you know what we could do? To make things a bit... Oh, hang on. No, not, not there. Not there. Hang on. Drag from there to there, there to there, and straight onto that roundabout. Perfect. So you don't have to go round here and round there. You can just drive straight round there. That red house has attached itself to that bit of road perfectly, which is absolutely wonderful. Good job. Oh, there's some more red houses over here. Um, Right. Ah, hang on a second. I think the map has just increased in size a little bit, has it? Because I don't think we could build over there before. So yes, Beijing has just got a tiny bit bigger. Okay, now how can we do this? Can we turn you that way so you two connect? And then we ideally want you to go and join <laughs> to join the roundabout of doom there. Um, okay, hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Have you facing that way and you facing that way. Get rid of that and then bring that down to there and you connect to there. There we go. Wonderful. And now here we go. We can have a 10 tile, no, a motorway or 10 road tiles. We shall have a motorway, please. And it might make sense to connect this bit of town over here where all the red workers are to over here where the big fancy red sort of building is now how can we do this so motorway i think do we have to drag it on to start so if we say um okay the motorway can start where can the motorway start uh, i mean there if the motorway starts there then all the people from the red houses can get on the motorway there or do we put the motorway there um, that might be best. Put it there and then have it going all the way over to there. Perfect. So they can just get on the motorway, go very quickly over to there, work in that building. That's not going to get too many pins in it and everything's going to be wonderful. There we go. So we have our first motorway route one through the city. And there we go. Look, the red people are on it already. Okay. A yellow workplace has appeared over there. That is not ideal, if we're being completely honest. How about, hang on, can we build at the bottom? Yes, we can. Okay, so what we'll do is, we'll connect that up, we'll have that coming down here, and then we'll have that going up like that. You can turn around that way and connect there. And then, that, do you know what, that should be enough, actually. The yellow workers can just go straight in there. They don't need another way in right now. So that should be sufficient. It looks like the motorway is doing its job very well indeed because that place is not becoming too sort of uh, too much in demand. But now, now we have this building here and there's another thing next to it. I don't quite know what that's for. Okay, and ah, right. I suspect we might need a bridge, everybody, because yes, here is the house for the, what's that, grey, I suppose, the grey building there. But um, yeah, we have to go across the river. Okay, so how are we going to do this? It's got points there and there. I mean, yeah, if we could bring that down, we've got 38 road sections, so that is not a concern. So bring that to join the roundabout, pop that down to just join that there, and then can they go, can they join that? Can we just do that and have a bridge? Can we have a slightly better bridge than that? Because that bridge is a bit of a hot mess. Do we get the bridge? We don't get the bridge back. Oh. Um, oh, yeah, I think we do. I think we do get the bridge back, thankfully. Yeah, that's what I meant to do. Yeah, we do get the bridge back. Phew. <laughs> I thought that was going to be game over right there. I thought that was going to be an absolute game ender. But no, we got the bridge back as well. Right, is everything connected? All the houses are connected. Um, yeah, green. I feel sorry for this greenhouse here. I feel like it's being a little bit surrounded. But as you can see, I mean, it's, it's very, very tiny. But we are zooming out ever so slightly. Because, yeah, now we're getting even more space. So we're zooming out bit by bit. But things are ticking over very nicely. 188, 189, 200. Can we get to 200? That would be wonderful if we could. And yeah, this road through the middle. 
sort of, uh, you know, motorway number one is actually doing a very good job. That is helping out a great deal. We haven't got anywhere right now. I mean, I think it'll happen in the future, but we've got nowhere right now where it's looking horribly busy. So we could have a roundabout, or we could have a motorway and 10 tiles. We've already got 31 tiles. So we've got plenty of road tiles, and we have a roundabout in reserve anyway, by the look of it. So yeah, we'll have another motorway. I don't think we need the motorway right now, but we can have it in reserve. And then if we see a problem, we can try and resolve it by just throwing a lovely motorway in. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. How are we going to deal with this? Because the two greenhouses... Oh, there's another greenhouse just there. Okay. So could we bring... Yeah, so turn you round and then connect you up to that road there and then just have that coming across and out like that. And also up to there as well. So it's a little bit complicated around there, but that should do the job. And yeah, that should be okay. That's fine. And then we'll tilt that greenhouse. So oh, that was all over. Hang on. That's all over the place. Go that way. There we go. And another greenhouse appearing over here. Okay, so lots of greenhouses. Um, another grey house. We just connect that up straight to there. In fact, you know what? That can go up like that as well. Wonderful. Is everything else connected? I think everything else is looking connected. 243 lovely completed visits. It's going splendidly well so far. You know, it's only a matter of time before everything goes horribly painfully wrong and we end up panicking. But right now, it's looking okay. No new things are appearing. Ah, okay. Ah, they share a kind of a plot. They share a plot. Okay. So yellow people here, they can get up to there. So how about we have that road coming into there. Then can we have another road going that way just to make their lives... Oh, hang on a minute. Can we connect that to that? Yeah, just to make their lives a little bit easier. So they can just drive around there if they want to. Oh, and that's perfect. Yeah, connect that up. I'm expecting another yellow house to appear up there any second now. But no, that's fine. They can drive around there, into there. Everything is sorted. I mean, yeah, in terms of pins on buildings, it's looking pretty good. That had two, back up to two, but that's fine. Okay, what upgrade would we like next? Right, we don't have a bridge. Well, the traffic lights do sound very exciting. We get two traffic light tiles, but we don't have a bridge anymore. And that does concern me. So I think we take a bridge. There we go. We shall have ourselves a bridge. That's not lit up. I kind of expect that to be slightly more lit up. That's lit up and that's lit up, but the bridge isn't lit up, which is a little bit concerning. Um, right, okay, hang on a second. Turn that house that way and connect up to the yellow houses over there. Everything else still looking fine. I mean, yeah, do we want to put in you know, a roundabout or anything? Uh, right, green homes, that can go just there. And another grey home, that can connect to the bottom of the bridge over here. That's looking very efficient. Oh, there's a red house there. Just sort of connect up like that, please. Is everything else plugged in? Oh, crikey. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So that can come down like that. I suspect, I suspect we might need some sort of motorway type thing because that's got a request of three people in there. I mean, somebody has just arrived, I think. Two people have arrived. Oh, now it's got a request of four. Okay, that's getting a bit too busy. Do we need a motorway going from here to over there? Just to speed up, speed that traffic up a little bit. Let's give that a go, shall we? So can we even do that? Can it go across the river? I imagine it can. So if we say, okay, so motorway just there and then drag that to just there. That is its sole purpose. Take those grey cars from there and deposit them just there. Is that going to make life a bit easier for them? Let's have a look. They can go over the motorway. Yeah, that's working very nicely. And it means they're a bit nearer to that as well. In fact, hang on. Can we change that point? Can we put it there so it's close to that and that? Yeah, okay, right, that's okay. We have another grey, <laughs> another grey building there. Um, can we, can we just sort of connect you? No, we can't connect through another building, obviously. That would, that would be a nonsense, wouldn't it? No, okay, no, go. Connect up. That's, that's not working. Get, get rid of that road. No, oh, no, hang on, I'll turn that house that way around, haven't I? There we go. Turn that to there. Bring that along like that and up and like that. So a slightly wibbly road junction, but it looks fine to me. There's a red house there that we could do. No, what are you doing? Turn to that angle and down. And then we need to plug this place in. Okay. So how about 
that comes. I mean, yeah, you've built you've built your way in uh, facing the wrong way, building planners. Again, the people in the in the logistics department at Beijing need to have a good talking to. They need to go back to where you put your entrances, school or whatever, because that's facing entirely the wrong way. <laughs> okay, hang on a second. Let's bring that in like that. Um, how many tiles have we got? 21. Do you know what? Let's bring something in like... Oh, hang on. No, get rid of that. Like that as well. We'll loop around like that and see if that makes a difference. All right, that can go just like that. And there should be plenty of, plenty of people able to get over there. A red house has just appeared down here. Um, okay. I don't quite know what use that's going to be. I mean, maybe we just connect you up to over here and hope, you know, hope for the best. Um, yeah, do you know what? There you go. You can connect up to there, drive your red cars an incredibly long way to wherever it is they need to go. We do only have 10 road tiles left. Okay. Is there anywhere that needs a roundabout? Is there anywhere that looks horribly busy right now? I don't think there is. And there we go. So a roundabout or traffic lights. Let's get traffic lights, only because we haven't got those yet. So traffic lights could do with going... I mean, that looks like a busy junction. Well, there's quite busy, isn't it? Uh, in fact, even there's quite busy. We'll put traffic lights there. And where else do we need traffic lights? I don't think we need any right now. I'm wondering if we need to put a roundabout somewhere else. Oh, there's another red thing over there. Okay. Um, okay, tilt that way. How many have we got? 30 bits. Okay, that's fine. We'll um, we'll have that going straight across like that. Um, yellow can just sort of plumb in over there. We've got, oh, there's, there's grey houses appearing over there. There's a grey house over here. Again, city planners. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You don't understand the city at all. Um, okay, the blue can just connect over there. That's absolutely fine. And that's just going to have to sort of plug in over there. And hopefully enough people can go from there to over there. Right, so another little sort of grey housing area is setting up just there, it seems. Okay, connect that that way. That can go in like that. <laughs> this is all fine. That can connect in like that. Many, many grey houses over here. The blue building has upgraded. The blue building has upgraded. Okay, so that's now a little bit more demanding on people going to work there. Um, however, more blue buildings are appearing, it seems, which is quite handy. I think one just appeared there. They're connecting to roads automatically, which is wonderful. Um, that, however, has not connected to a road automatically. Do you know what? Just go straight up. Why not? Just go and join that. I'm sure that's fine. Right, is everything else connected? Are there any little houses which are not plumbed into our thoroughly, wonderfully efficient road network? Okay, bridge or traffic lights? I'd rather have the bridge. I think we already have a bridge, but now we've got two bridges, which is wonderful. Why aren't they lit up? Look, the traffic lights are lit up. Roundabout's lit up. That isn't lit up. Makes me slightly nervous. Um, okay, so connect that up to there. We don't need a bridge right now, I don't think. I don't think we need to deploy a bridge. We don't need a bridge to go from there to there, do we? Or do we? Would that help? If we had a bridge going across that bit of river, just linking that roundabout to that roundabout, would that save any time? I don't know if it would. Do you know what? I'm not convinced. We're not going to do it. Right, that can connect up to there. <laughs> it's all fine. Right, green can connect up to there. I think everything else is plumbed in. No, it's not all plumbed in. Hang on a minute. Blue over that way. But also, can we have can we have some roads coming, say, around there and then onto there? Because then if they need to go and work there, they could drive all that way around to there rather than having to go around that complicated road network. Okay, that's all fine. And the red one, that can join up over there. I think that's everything connected, which is wonderful. We're on the fast speed. Oh, the blue over here is looking horribly, horribly busy. That's looking really busy. Do you know what? Can we take can we take those traffic lights away? Hang on a minute. Can we take the traffic lights away? Um, no. Oh, yeah, we can. Right, we've deleted the traffic lights. Maybe that wasn't helping with getting people into that building, but... That building is looking very, very busy. All the blues are over there. And the building is just there. Okay, what have we got? We haven't got a motorway, unfortunately. Uh, we can't put a roundabout there, I imagine, because it's too near one of those buildings. Okay, right, we'll have to keep an eye on this. But there are lots of people coming in. One, two, three. Okay, right, loads of people are pulling into that building. It's fine. That's being sorted out. Uh, we'll have a motorway, please. Just in case we need a motorway for emergency motorway purposes. Um, 
I mean, yeah, we could do the motorway from there going to here. And that would make things a bit quicker. Uh, okay, a load of new things has appeared over here. Okay, connect the yellow up to there. Yellow up to there. Red up to that. And blue tilt round down there. So you're quite far away from your workplace. You can get to where you need to go. It's just a little bit distant right now. Oh, hang on a minute. There's a place there which needs to be connected. Okay, fine. We'll connect that up as well. <laughs> oh, now there's a green place. Oh, and there's some yellow places that aren't connected. Right, hang on. Yellow up to there. Uh, green can plumb into that place. That, in fact, hang on. Hang on. Can we just have green going straight across like that? That makes perfect sense. Get rid of that bit there. Because green doesn't need to go up there to join those roads. Green just needs to go across and down to here or here. Okay. Yes. We'll have that, please. Is everything else plugged in? Not anymore. There we go. More green cars going around this way. That building looks fine. That looks really... Yeah, that doesn't look good, does it? That doesn't look good at all. Do we want to get a motorway going from here to here to speed things up a bit? I suspect that might be a good idea. Okay. In comes... Motorway number three. Let's have it there and we'll drag it to just there. There we go. So hopefully they can move into here a bit quicker. They can drive along the motorway very, very quickly and stop that from filling up too much. What are we on? 860. If we could get over a thousand for attempt number one at this game, that would be amazing. Uh oh, right. This is a problem. We might see a timer appearing on this now. That could be a bit of an issue. Okay, what can we do about this? Well, all the white sort of houses are down here. Could we move the motorway so it points over there? <laughs> Could we do that? I mean, there should be loads of people going to that. But yeah, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. That's going to start ticking down. Are we going to get to a thousand? I'm not entirely convinced. Hang on a minute. Hang on, bring that down. That's all good. I think. Can we get to the end of the week? And then have a motorway, please. Because that would be amazing. Right, that's turned into a countdown. Oh, no. We got enough people there. That turned into a countdown as well. That did. That did down there. A bridge or some traffic lights. No game. Motorway. Game. We needed a motorway. Why are you doing this to us? Um, we've got two bridges. And we've got two lots of traffic lights. Okay. Right. Hang on a second. Do we need to deploy some traffic lights anywhere? Would that help? Because that is looking very horribly busy right now would some traffic lights assist in getting people over there quickly look at that that's really busy that's really busy that is really busy um okay i think everything is connected so i think all the buildings are plugged in so it's just a case of well, hang on no that's not plugged in that is another blue that's another blue car that can go to one of the blue places and it takes a while to get there they have a bit of a commute on their hands but it's fine okay right Let's see if we can get over a thousand. I'm, if we get over a thousand, I'm taking that as a win. I'm taking that as a win. One attempt at this game, over a thousand. That's pretty good going. I'll be happy with that. These things here are causing us problems. The big round cake buildings are causing us issues. If we could just get in there, that would be wonderful. Keep on top of this one. That one's coming down quite nicely, as is that one. That's doing very well. Right, a new green building has appeared. And it's nowhere near any green sort of, uh, any green residences. Of course it isn't. Um, okay, what we might have to do is, we might have to go like this and go into there. So people from these green houses here can drive up and along into there. Maybe that is what we do. Did I just hear a countdown timer ticking away? I don't think so. Oh no, just there. Oh no, hang on. How long's that been there? How long's that been there? That's not even connected up. <laughs> Has that been there for ages? And I've just not noticed. Um, okay. Right, hang on. There's there's yellow houses there. Let's connect that up like that. Oh, no. Don't say that's going to be our downfall. Because I haven't noticed that thing. Somebody drive here absolutely speedily. Yep, yeah, two of them are going in. Two of them are going in. Brilliant. And brilliant. Okay. That might end the game. That one there that we didn't even notice might be the end of the game for us. I didn't even spot that was a thing. Hang on. There are some cars coming in. Park up quick. Park up quick. Park, park. Okay. That, yeah, this is going to stop us, isn't it? 1,142. That looks like it might be it. Oh, where, how long was that there? That's very unfortunate. I hadn't noticed it was there at all. Okay, do you know what? We'll try and do our best 
We'll try and plumb things in as best we can whilst we're here. Um, oh yeah, that green one, we didn't do anything with that in the end, did we? Come back around like that. And that's all connected. That's, is that connected? Yeah, I think that's connected. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to stop that timer. I don't think, no matter how quickly these people drive, and of course, don't speed everybody. Drive at the, uh, the actual speed limits that are given to you from the actual roads and drive to the conditions. But I don't think we're going to get enough people in there to sort that out. I think that is certainly a lost cause. The only thing I can think of is to move one of the motorways. Do we want to move one of the motorways? Can we move that motorway point to Yellow Town just there and then move it to there? Just you know, pick up the motorway and move it around like you do. I think we have to wait for the people to get off it first, though. I think that's going to be it. That's going to end the game for us. Can you get in really quick? No, that finished it for us. That's a bit of a shame. I'm going to have to watch when that appeared on the playback because I think that might have been there for quite some time and it just entirely, entirely evaded my attention. But there we go. Too few cars could reach this destination in time. Your city shut down after 75 days. 1,156 commuters. That's the first time I've played that. First time I've had a go with the bridges and the roundabouts and the traffic lights and everything else. I think that's pretty good. I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy with that score. Oh, and there we go. Our score there over in Beijing means that we've unlocked a new city, which is Dar es Salaam. I might have pronounced that all sorts of wrong, but there we go. So yeah, when you start, you get to play in either Los Angeles, Beijing or Tokyo. And then yes, we just unlocked that place there. You can also unlock a Moscow, Munich, Zurich, Manila, Rio, Dubai, and Mexico City. Wow. Okay, so there's quite a lot going on. There's an awful lot of cities to go to and, you know, sort out the traffic in. But, um, but yeah, there we go. So Beijing, best 1,156. Not bad going. Not bad going at all. I think, does that show as a leaderboard? Does that show as a leaderboard? Yes, we are 60,000th just over. 60,239th in the world. We're equal with quite a lot of people. So well done, all these people, including the brilliantly named bald guy with a cape. <laughs> Okay, bald guy with a cape. Well done. Well done on your score. And also your cape as well. And your baldness, maybe. Well done on everything about you. But um, yeah, there we go. Wonderful stuff. I like that. I do like that. I can see myself playing an awful lot of that and just trying different things, trying to you know, try different tactics and maybe deploying some of those uh, traffic lights that we had. And yeah, maybe sort of trying to build really long routes around the edge of the city. So sort of, you know, ring road type things. But yeah, I do feel... I feel a little bit, I feel a little like we could have done better, but I didn't notice that building that had appeared. So yeah, when I go back and actually edit the video together, I'm going to have to see how long that building was sitting there going, please connect us up to the road network, please somebody. So um, yeah, bit of a shame, but never mind. For a first showing over a thousand, I think that is pretty good going. And do you know what? It didn't get too anarchic at the end. I thought it was going to be all over the place. I thought everything was going to be terrible and there's going to be traffic jams and no one could move anywhere. But I think we kept the traffic flowing relatively well. I mean, it wasn't perfect, of course, but you know, I think it worked sort of OK. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. I think things went about as well as they could have done. But yeah, we'll finish up for now. But yeah, this is wonderful. I have very, very much enjoyed this. It is very good indeed. I mean, if you liked Mini Metro, then you will like this because, you know, it's sort of, you know, variation on a theme type thing. But yeah, it's very, very good. I'm glad we took the time to play it and I can absolutely see myself sinking many, many hours into this in the future. But for the moment, we will finish up. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This sports car is indeed illegal. You clearly couldn't see the sign saying no cars. I have found the place where I'm going to live forever. The Tea and Biscuits Cafe. I want to rename the dog. Uh, let's call it uh, Wuffles. Wuffles McBark. Behold the power of the blimp.